Hey guys, what you're about to watch is a super rad video, I think. Uh, you know, I can get super random and just grab my phone and be like, hey, uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Well, one of those blah, blah, blah days turned into, I'm gonna pick 30 of you and you get your ass to New York City and I'll let you pitch me for a minute or two and I'll jam with you for a minute or two and I pick 30 random winners. We got them all together at Hudson Yards in New York City and what you're about to watch now is their pitches and my reactions and my big hope is that we scale the content so that you guys get to see it so that you can and see yourself in some of these uh, pitches and, and get advice that brings you value. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you pay attention to me on Instagram and Snapchat and, uh, and are prepared for the next ridiculous random fucking thing I come up with. My name is Amanda Gerber. My name is Adolfo Barrio. My name is Angela. I'm Tico Prescott. I'm Miguel Cambrai. I'm Jorge Perez. My name is Daniel Fessler. Hi, my name is Alfrey. My name is Tinashe. I'm John Petro. Hey, I'm Joe Harris. My name is Juan Alcivar. Toby Roberts. My name is Zeno oh, Burnett. Yeah. Christian Bishop, CEO of GG Media Network. We're here with Max Ford. We're Tap That App. Our company is Caribbean. Uh, D Rock, I think you should talk to that. Like, you or somebody has to basically be like, look, this is 100% gonna be two minutes and 30 seconds, but we're legitimately not stretching it um, because we have to be empathetic and Gary has a major client on the back end, so make sure they know right before they even come. How are you? Gary, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Christian Bishop, Christian. CEO of GG Media Network. Awesome. We're an esports production company. Okay. The aspiration is to become a media company. But we're super excited about building original programming around esports and content. Love an opportunity to work with your agency, your company, with your brand. If somebody is got the production capabilities, is there? have you worked as consultants or gateways to the talent or Absolutely. creative architect, Absolutely. Like, right? You're entrepreneurial, right? And you said, you said you have ambition to be a media company, so even though you're the production arm, you have ambitions to be the ESPN Vox or Vice? Vice, Vice would be nice. Yeah, ambitions you know, all, would be nice. Yes, send me an email. Absolutely. Finally got a chance to pitch Gary on our eSports production company with aspirations to be a media company. It was amazing. Adolfo. Adolfo. I love it. Please sit. How are you, sir? It's a pleasure. I was thinking of an app. I thought about it not too long ago, so I just sketched sure. this up. Like, you drew this? Up. Yeah. I, I, I just did it real quick. Just uh, just a quick little idea. So you're a real good artist? Yeah, I draw, paint. Secret Arena. Santa. Yeah, Secret Santa. So I was thinking of a very simple app, uh, mostly in the city area. So if you were to go to Target, uh, Amazon, if you get them in on it, kind of. So you're trying to replicate the phenomenon of Secret Santa in app form in at app scale. Form. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Biggest first recommendation, immediately, you need a co-founder who's a tech builder. How would I be able to just like search and find some Meetup.com. Right? Meetup. Go to meetup.com, go to LA area development meetups, uh -huh. shake hands, find somebody else that's cool like you and make him your partner. Perfect, sounds good, I appreciate it. Real pleasure. Thank you. Thank Sir, you very, nice very nice meeting you. you. Thanks for coming out. I think it really went really well. Gary, awesome as always. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom with four kids. Six and under. So I'm pitching to you today my side hustle. Um, so basically, I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. So what I do is I educate people about natural and holistic health, and then I help to point them as to the essential oils that would be best for them and their family to serve their health goals and okay. their health needs. Okay. So when you get somebody's attention, and they're like, yes, I want to use you. How do you, how does your side hustle work? Do they pay you monthly? Do they buy the oils from you? What's the business itself. Yeah, I meet up with them one on one and they find the oils they want. And, and you make a big in the in the margin. Make a commission. Mm -hmm. You make a commission. Yeah. I mean look, it's much of you know the answers. It's so much content. The one thing I would say is influencers are grossly underpriced. If you really want to do this, like I really think you should be DMing more. Five or ten gotcha. more. Like I really believe in it. Okay. Um, and the other thing is Twitter search. I would search the terms of the oils and the industry you're in on Twitter and engage in conversations. Okay. I mean, how much on an average day are you able to put into this? Uh, when the kids are in bed. Right. From like nine to midnight. Right, so you, you just have to be patient that you're gonna get three hour results and you just, you can't veer away from what's tried and true just because you only have three hours. It was amazing. Oh. Hang on, before I start, I just want to let you know that a couple of months ago, my house actually had burned down, and as tragic as that is, that same day I found out from Sean that I was coming here today. That's amazing. And this is your book that I was able to salvage from my um, house, I swear to God. I was able to salvage that, so this is like a really life changing opportunity. Were you okay? Was everybody okay? Um, yeah, yeah, everyone was okay, but I was vlogging, then I 
So my dad called me, I said, keep rolling for some reason. Get there, this happens, and as I'm doing that, Sean DMs me, and I was like the most mixed feelings ever, you know? Like, <laughs> it's, like it's like I'm meeting Gary Vee, but my phone's dead, so I'm at uh, uh, my house is <laughs> burning, so I don't know how to feel, but. Which I'm not sure if your phone being dead or your house burning yeah, down. It's basically yeah. the same terrible tragedy these mm -hmm. days. I'm yeah. sorry, I don't want to make light of that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, so this is a really where, life. Where were you? Michigan. Understood. Michigan, so go ahead, so. what can I help you with? Uh, so I'm here to represent Innovative Media Group of Business Development. Um, and Innovative Media Group is an FA approved drone production company founded by John Petro in 2013. Um, over the years, we've done various uh, services, but in the last year, we, we decided to focus specifically on real estate and event coverage. In, in order to provide more value. B2B drone business. Yes. Right, you're doing yes. event and... and uh, re uh, real estate, real estate so and commercial and residential real estate. Homes. Two of the areas that are most using drone footage. Yes. Because our production team is doing more and more drone work, there might be something smarter. Can so you own this production Yes, company. sir. You do yeah. business development. Yeah. Um, how big is it? Right now, we've got a lot of freelance guys and like four of us. Two how guys much revenue salary. do you do this year, you think? Uh, last year was 54,000. My goal was 120 this year. I'm interested. Send me an email. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so pretty much he yeah. said he liked the idea. Follow up with us, stay connected. Yeah. So pretty much you'll be hearing more of yeah. us from yeah. Innovative Media Group, and we're ready to crush it. How are you? Oh, dude, you don't even know. Man. We're so excited to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, man. So we're going to pitch uh, sort of, we, got a, we don't know what you were expecting, so we're just a brand with a purpose. How do we get to the next level? You know what I mean? What level are you at? Um, right now, we're making about maybe 200000 a year just on custom work and brand sales as well. You know, 7 p.m. to 3 o'clock in the morning, DMing hip-hop artists until your fucking face falls off. I genuinely believe what I'm about to say. If 21 Savage, if Chance, the, if Chance the Rapper goes on stage wearing something that is uniquely your design, right? Like straight up, so it will change your business. Imagine you could put Jake Paul's home screen or other influencers' home screens in the hands of the fans. That's interesting. Now this can be possible. Keep talking. We're Tap That App. We're a social app discovery and recommendation platform. Interesting. We've made the app store social. It takes sure. your social networks and what? Combines them with the apps on your phone. And understood. So and what? So, so if I download your app, mm -hmm. what, you what happens? Them, then we'll know the apps that you have and then you tap the ones you want to share. I get worried about it being only valuable to a very small percentage of people. If you were about to show me some way that it was super, like I really want a two button app that says share the home screen and for some reason for somebody to do that and away we go. The data matters. So what's going on Gary? My name is Policy Q. Pow! Low, you already know, let's go! <laughs> and I'm here at the Gary V Show. I'm actually the co-founder and uh, CEO of Ecom Success Agency, where our company focuses on building done-for-you Shopify stores. We manage their products, manage their advertising, very similar to a social media company, but specifically for e-commerce. Yeah. If you're worried that people are getting scared off that Amazon's gonna eat it all up, that's never gonna happen. Yeah. You have to make each client that you get profitable enough that you can then hire somebody to help you scale, and you basically have to decide how much money you need to live. It's just running a business. How much money are you gonna take home? How profitable is every one of your cu customers? And who can you afford to help you scale? You've heard this from me, it's patience. Mm -hmm. How do you go from this to this? Time. Mm -hmm. Of course. This is fucking 20 years in the making. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be locked into doing it nice and slow and having it take 20 years. That's the part nobody wants. Sounds good, thank you, sir. I'm a social media consultant, and uh, it all started when I read the, the book uh, Crush It. I started working for uh, the French uh, Canadian ESPN in Montreal. I was wondering if I could either help you with something because you've given me so much. Thank I'd you. like to help and uh, either uh, give some time to help with the uh, banner sports yep. and have the chance to learn from that to uh, import it to, for my own business. We have a couple guys in the Canadian Football League and maybe you can go and produce some content with the video production arm that you have. Let me give it some thought. Send me an email and I'm gonna put it in my Vayner Sports folder. Okay. Thanks so much for You're your welcome. time. You're welcome.
April, such a nice pleasure. To meet you. What's cooking? What's cooking is trauma informed practices and mindfulness in sports, so for athletes. So when I look at somebody like yourself, who you've invested all of this money into athletes, and what's your insurance policy? That's right. Right? So you have an athlete who is playing and they get injured or something happens and they don't have that piece, that skill set that helps them either exit from sports gracefully or keeps them within it. Yep. So I'm a big believer in this, keep talking. So it would be your, the dream scenario here is that Boehner Sports hires you to work with our athletes. Sure. So what if they don't have trauma? You're not involved? Show me a person who hasn't suffered some form of trauma. Understood, so it's the definition of that. Is that, is that branding off? Because I, I actually agree with you, thank you, that everybody, like I think everybody should have a third force. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's branded at all. I didn't have trauma, but I would have, I turned out fucking unbelievable and would have taken a third force. Yeah. This is the only thing I'm about. The brain is your operating mm-hmm. system, the end. And you live mindfully. There's a lot I of live people my, that need I know what, I got it, Tru- trust me. I don't think just because I, I think everybody should do it. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so Such much. a pleasure. Gary wants to follow up by email, so I would say that yeah. that's uh, as good as you can get in having you know a couple minutes of audience with him. Hey, how's it going? Things are good. What can I help you with? Uh, all right. My name is Zeno. Uh, I got a business called Nichols and Burnett. Uh, it's pretty much like a buy, sell, trade business. Like, um, kind of like you know, like vegan closet or something. Yeah, I like that. But like, it's like. Like I'm pivoting into like the the media part of it. I want to use like the media to uh, actually like make the brand like kind of grow. Like majority of the business is like pretty much just retail and everything. I'm doing pretty decent in sales. We How are you sales. selling it? Like uh, Goodwill, the outlets, the warehouse. I'm getting it for like. So you're like, doing the flip. Six, you're nine, doing the yeah, flip arbitrage. Yeah, yeah, like flip yeah, arbitrage. The whole thing that I like believe in the most. Yeah. Where's the stuff selling through? Grail, uh, eBay, uh, Offer Up. Um, all these places. All the places. And it's the same user brand name everywhere? Yeah. And what is it one more time? Uh, Nichols and Brennan. I don't think you should worry about it yet. Yeah. I'm giving you a little bit of a curveball. Even though I believe media is everything, yeah. I think you have a natural ability to flip. I think you should put 100% of your effort because when you get that bank up and you're doing a million dollars in the arbitrage, you'll be able to hire for the media play. You're trying to solve a problem you don't have yet. You went from zero to 120,000 revenue run rate yeah. without anybody knowing your fucking brand. Mm-hmm. My intuition is you can get the five million that way and nobody gives a fuck about the brand. You could be seller, seller 49 on all these platforms and it doesn't matter. You're smart, which is why you got to where you are already. That is gonna matter. You're looking to make it matter too soon. Just be patient. What you're doing is right. Save dollars. Make profit, don't buy shit for yourself. Yeah, I'm- Pour every dollar back into the business or into savings, you'll be more than on your way. You've gotta figure it out. Keep going. This arbitrage, retail arbitrage is real. Don't even look up. Don't even look up for air for another two years. I'm being dead serious. For real? Yeah, because you're gonna pick up your head and you're gonna have a lot of money. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. This arbitrage exists for a while. Yeah. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Appreciate it. This is gonna give me like, a, uh, like enlightenment on like what I should do next and like just keep my head down and keep pounding it out. So right now, like as Gary say, I'm gonna just uh, keep eating shit.